We're here with MSI pre-Computex this year. Uh, with us is Scott, who uh, actually lives and works in the UK, but we thought we'd fly 6,000 miles to talk to him about a new motherboard. Scott, what have you got to show us today? Uh, what I have here is our new Z77 M Power. Um, some of your viewers may be familiar with the X Power series, mm. designed for extreme overclockers with specific LN2 features. Um, this one, whilst it was designed in conjunction with certain um, extreme overclockers, including Elmore, um, to specifically to design the layout of the board, um, this is focused at the enthusiast overclockers rather than the extreme overclockers. Okay, so what, 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 what purpose is it designing it around these extreme overclockers? You know, they use LN2 and stuff like that. How can the enthusiast benefit? Well, this board specifically designed with water cooling in mind. Mm -hmm. um, tested, heavily overclocked with water cooling and very, very little airflow around the board to ensure that the cooling solution um, is suitable, keeps the board nice and cool. Um, we have four military class components, as you'd expect mm. with our board, uh, painted black PCB. The design is a 16-phase design. Mm. The uh, design of the cooling solution is being designed in conjunction with our VGA team to uh, mirror the design of the lightning cards, as you can see. So what are the key features we've got here? We've also got wireless, Bluetooth. Yep. We have the built-in Bluetooth, the mm. built-in wireless, and all the usual features you would expect with mm. a high-end Z77 motherboard. Uh, we have switchable BIOS, mm. uh, can be flashed with different BIOS versions and switched manually between the two. Do uh, you not think the challenge with uh, Z77 boards at the moment in the market is there's, there's a ton of them available. Every manufacturer's got a whole slew of them out there. You know, why would I buy a more expensive board like this for my for my enthusiast system over you know something that, that's probably going to be half the price? This isn't going to be cheap, right? No, uh, we expect this to hit the market around about the 199 pound mark, okay. including VAT. Um, the specific reason we would give for the for buying this is that we are so confident in the capabilities, the reliability, the stability of the board that if anybody has any problems when overclocking. If they overclock the board and damage it, mm. we will warranty it. We are offering an overclocking warranty. So if someone buys this, kicks the hell out of it with LN2, and it goes wrong, you'll just give them a new one. No questions asked? Yeah. Okay, and when's it available? Uh, should be available in uh, about a month's time, so around about uh, July time. Okay. And how are you guys seeing Z77 and Ivy Bridge adoption? Are you seeing, you know, is, is, it, is it getting the traction you thought after the delays in bringing it to market? Um, Ivy Bridge, not necessarily. Um, the CPU is not uh, taken off as well as we expected. Um, but the market has switched almost entirely now from Z68 to Z77. Okay. And obviously the next big launch this year is Windows 8. Yep. So what, what are you, are all your boards Windows 8 certified? What does that mean? We are working to make all of our boards Windows 8 certified. They're all Windows 8 compatible. Right. Um, but there are many... So what's, what's the difference then between compatible and certified? Compatible is you will be able to load the board, the, uh, the system with Windows 8. Right. Um, but depending on what features you have available on the board, mm. um, you might have to run it in a legacy mode. Okay. Um, well, there are certain features necessary for s official Windows certification. Okay. Um, and those uh, include the UEFI BIOS mm -hmm. uh, version and the speed of the boot time. Okay. So with this, with boot, you know, the thing that takes the time is checking the memory, checking, detecting the USB ports and stuff like that. So is there some sort of way of turning that detection off or something? Well, we'd hope so, because to get the Windows certification, you have to be able to boot the board in about five seconds. Right. So will you guys be offering BIOS updates for current boards out there in order to, to have that certification? Uh, the cert the <coughs> BIOS updates regarding certification is still, still being checked, because okay. there are some boards that might require hardware mm. updates. You'll still be able to run Windows 8 absolutely mm. fine. Okay, and what about this board? Is this Windows 8 certified? This board is the first one we've designed from the ground up that will boot fast enough to get the Windows certification. Okay, cool. Well, there you have it, the uh, Z77 M-Power motherboard from MSI, and a bit of information about Windows 8. Check back soon for more from Computex.